And here is your starting lineups tonight. The starting lineups are brought to you by Bank of North Dakota's Deal Student Loans. We'll start with the Shanley Deacons. As we mentioned, the number four seed point guard, Dylan Alderman, averaging 12 points a game. Great setup, man. Six and a half assists. The coach's son, very heady player, joined by Connor Dunn. Solid spot-up shooter, the six-foot senior. Gets to start at the two guard. Ben Blagoza, the big six-foot-five center, doing a lot of the dirty work. Offensive rebounds and second-chance points. Patrick Strom, 40% three-point shooter. Gets him up in punches. Can hit him from way deep. And Mr. Basketball finalist, A.J. Jacobs, the 6'6 senior. The head coach is Shane Alderman. This game will feature the Deacons from Shanley High and the Demons from Bismarck High. First for the Shelly Deacon, starting at a goal. A 6'2 senior, number 10, Dylan Alderman. And for the Bismarck High Demons, starting at a guard, a 5'11 senior, number 21, Josh Seibel. For the Shelly Deacon, starting at a guard, a six-foot senior at number 14, Connor Dunn. Head coach for the Shelly Deacons is Shane Alderman. And the head coach for the Bismarck High Demons is Steve Miller. It's the Deacons and the Demons, and it starts next. Tons of records already and accolades to it. And search for a title. Jacobson wins the toss and Shanley and the road red. Get things started. much more difficult for Schaefer to get a shot off. Nice pass, Gogosa, better block. Jacobson with the offensive rebound. Alderman gets into the lane and a charging foul. So the first foul against Shanley. Player control foul on Dylan Alderman. On the drive, Alderman. And Shanley has put the ball to the floor and getting Bismarck out of position. Alderman, even though he had a player control foul, right back at Seibel. Attack, 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 attack. Seems to be the game plan right away for the Deacons going to the bucket. It's the third foul already on Bismarck. Exaggeration. Not often you see a foul on the three-pointer, half-court three-pointer to win a game. Offensive putback for Glagoza. Now Strom on the fly. Offensive putback. This is for Connor Dunsmar. Kept it. Back out Schaefer. Nothing on the three. Well, there's a perfect box out. If the ball can, can hit the floor, <laughs> you boxed out well. There's Shane Alderman. His first year as the head coach. Third year with the program. Shane's been around Fargo basketball for a while. And they have a good math teacher, or science teacher in him. He's a mas he has a master's in science education. It sounds like he knows all kinds of stuff I wouldn't have a clue about. <laughs> Looked like Jacobson maybe scooted along the floor a little bit. No travel call. It's a held ball. We'll take the break. Bismarck High out in front. Super start for the Demons. 15 to 7, excuse me, 11 to 7 lead. Fargo Shanley Deacons with two state championships in the trophy case 1998 against Devils Lake and 1997 against Belcourt. Tim Jacobson was the head coach for the Deacons back then. On the boys' side, he's the girls' head coach for Shanley right now. Two offensive rebounds in one possession. Bismarck has doubled Shanley's scoring. Floater, Alderman, swish. Strom with a catch. Three-point by Dunn, offensive rebound. Jacobson, yep. His first field goal on a putback. Silent night, apparently, for the Shanley fans. Wanted to stay quiet until their team got to 10 points. Well, they've gone over 10, and that is why the fans chose to erupt right now. What Shanley wants to do, very good in the transition, and they're going to call the charge on Meyer. Being the 100th 
boys Class A state match. Schaefer, that puts Jacobson in the middle, and here's Meyer coming up with a steal right away. Ahead to Strom. Strom lays it up and lays it in to make it a one-point game. Meyer comes right in after the offensive foul, settles himself down, gets the steal. That's his role. 13 point effort in the win over West Fargo. Now Jacobson adds to his total. He's up to six. This pace favors Shanley. This is what they want. Back and forth, back and forth. Touch. At 6'4, he's getting deep position on Patrick Strong. Speaking of Strong, there's his first three, number 88 this year. 40% three point shooter, shoots a bunch of them. Now Bismarck and Shanley tied. Under the seven minute mark, that got knocked away from Claremont. Loose ball. That's Strom on the floor, I think, and a timeout. Yep, Shane Alderman got the timeout to save the possession, and we'll take a break here. Just a few ticks under seven. We're tied at 18. Coach Alderman talking with his team. You know, the coaches do a lot of talking and, and during these breaks, and just because we're not on the air, Jamal and I keep talking to each other, and, and uh, we thought or think rather from, from this point to half will really say a lot about how Bismarck sets itself up to maybe potentially win this game because the last few minutes have gone Shanley's way. He's done really well, I think. Four through seven extends the defense as well. Probably slack off, but not that guy that closed fast enough. There's Meyer, knocked it out to keep the possession alive. Arnold. Muscles up, and it is an offensive foul on Arnold as Hassauer. The second he caught that ball, Dan Arnold knew what he was going to do with it. And I think sometimes you have to adjust to the defense. The second he turned around, he knew he was going to go no matter what. He picked up the offensive foul there. Uh, the doubt. Oh, no help. You'll give you up can points. Do. Solid defense. You didn't want to bring the double. They're in a zone. The defense was there. He played them very well. But Jacobson will make you pay if you don't bring another body on him. Eight points. In yesterday's game, we said the first of 50 was going to win. Well, then we dropped that down to 40. And it was true. And that's exactly what happened. Strom drops in two more. Seven points for Patrick to give the Deacons the lead. This mark's already put 20 on the board. Well, you cut 84 in half, and that's 42 points, so that's 20 points less right now than what Shanley's been averaging in a half. Strom will try to add three to it. Pretty good battle for the four, and it goes off. The Deacons, yep, off the Deacons. Front of the post, denying Jacobson yep. the entry. He did not get the entry on the wing. Now a little floater for Strom. Good no call there. Nine points. Arnold almost with the steal. Oh, third foul on Arnold. Ball got batted around and batted around, and Arnold went for it at the end and picked up his third. Alderman on the drive, the give. Bugosa open. Alderman won't worry about the last shot. Strom will take the three. Maybe the Demons, oh, it's stripped away by Meyer, but Bismarck gets it back, and now there's only eight seconds left for Schaefer. Coach Miller, I kept the score down. I think kept the pace where you wanted it first half. No, no, not at all. We're playing way too fast on the offensive end. I mean, one thing about Shanley is sometimes they're going to let you take some shots, and we try to convince our kids, you got to pass up a, a good shot to get a better one. And we're playing way too fast uh, on, on the offensive end, so we got to get that short up here. This game's too fast for us right now. Defensively, what have you done well to keep him in the 20s? Well, I think we're playing pretty good defense on the ball defense. Our health defense has been good, and they've missed some shots, but they start making some shots, this thing's going to spread in their favor. we got to get it slowed up a little bit. All right, good luck second half, Coach. Thank you. All right, guys, back over to you. And it gives him a look. Now it's a clear out for Jacobson. He spins and hits it. Charles can play better defense than that. Alderman got to the line, and he will get to uh, the line on the foul, and he'll get there with two more points behind his name. And that was denied, but it goes right over to Glagosa, and all, I think, well, two for sure, and maybe all three of his field goals. Jacobson in transition. Yes. He's fired up, takes the bump, finishes through the contact. Jacobson open for three. First option, always Jacobson. That was covered, and it was a two-point field goal by Alderman. Long three, yes! 
drop. And the points that go along with it, down. Grady Meyer, yep, on the three. His first field goal is a three. Back swing over, Meyer. Battle for the rebound, it comes to Arnold. He does get 10. And that second one brings us to this break at the 7.51 mark. So the two free throws by Alderman makes it a four point advantage for Shanley. We'll be right back. Into the lane, Jacobson finger rolls it off the glass. 21 points. Jacobson. You can hear Coach Steve Miller yelling for help as he bracket. Nice pick. Pick by Here comes Meyer. Meyer. This is for 2,000 points. What a milestone. 2,000 career point for A.J. Jacobson. State championship back-to-back -back -back effort. It is a familiar name in the Shanley community. Is Corey or Dunn. It's loose underneath for the reverse lane. Eed out of the EDC, but the number one ranked team in the state. A straw man three more. Two thousand and two. He will end his career on that number. AJ Jacobson comes out of the game, putting his team up seventy-three to fifty-four. Well, Bismarck hung in as long as it could, but the Deacons, well, they dominated the tail end of the second half and win the state championship. Third in school history, first since 98, and they did it in record-setting fashion, both individually and team-wise. Students storming the court to enjoy this one. The players shaking hands here on the sideline. Wishing each other good luck in their future endeavors. Isn't it? The most prolific offensive player in the history of boys class A. Ends up being a 19 point victory. Bismarck did everything right for as long as they could. They hung in this one well into the second half until the free throws started to make the difference. Demons a lot of credit for how well they played today, both offensively and defensively. As Coach Alderman does, and the team after every one of their games, they will huddle up at center court. All five guys on the court at any time, they, we all know our roles. You know, it's not just our main scores. Everybody can do what they can do, and we did it tonight and throughout the season. These representatives of the 2013 State Class A Boys Basketball State Champion, Shanley Beach.